What's up? Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Michael, for all your kind words. And uh, thank you guys for being here. Talking to the speakers in the back of that truck. She jumped up and cut me off. She was like, oh, my God, this is my song. We've been listening to the radio all night long. I sit around waiting for it to come on. And here it is. But th this will be a fun event. I mean, we... We have had a hundred talks about trying to get, you know, number one, number one parties together. And like I said, all these writers, they're, half of them are writers and half of them are producers and half of them are parents and, and all that. So, uh, but we're glad we could get everybody assembled today and, um, and, and make it just kind of a fun, organic situation that um, hopefully it's not too obvious that we didn't plan it. But uh, but I think I think it'll be fun. It's more about showcasing the writers and, and certainly the songs. She was like, "Come here, boy, I wanna dance." For I said a word, she was taking my hand, spinning me around till it faded out. And she gave me a kiss. You knew that you were gonna have one number one hit. You probably wouldn't have believed, believed it. it. Talk a little bit about just the feeling of continued acceptance by radio and fans of your music. Because yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable to try to, I guess, tell people or whatever. Because I, I do feel bad. I'm like, yeah, come by my number one party. And they're like, well, it's not, well, yeah, there's actually seven of them. <laughs> but I don't feel bad long. But uh, I get over it real quick. Somebody play it again, play it again, play it again. Talk to them, Dorland kind of to go off subject, I mean, my prayer is that more money can be generated in the music business to allow more revenue to be shared for more people to move to town. I mean, right now, we've been, ever since I've moved to town, a lot of these guys, you hear of more and more songwriters on the street. Um, what always scares me about it is, it, it is money gets tight. It makes labels and it makes publishers more reluctant to roll the dice on somebody. They start overthinking everything. They start second guessing. It becomes a monetary decision, not, ooh, I'm going to sign this person with my heart. The radio all night long. But we knew that we were coming out with Home Alone tonight. We wanted to launch it at, at the AMAs. And we were really excited about that moment. But so we just didn't have our best award show moment. And me and her, we, we laugh about it. And that's kind of the thing. We had a prop on stage at the AMAs. If you go back and it was like this rotating gold uh, rotunda of death thing. <laughs> and we spent I didn't know where it was going Still trying to keep my heart on the tracks I should have known that kind of feeling Well, first of all, it didn't, ro it didn't rotate on time ever And so Karen and I are trying to sing this song Which is tough for the first time, you know, at the AMAs Inside of this weird contraption that wasn't acting right 